everyone, welcome to Prudent News. First to look at the headlines. 37 out of 40 MLAs in Goa Kroorpati, 75% MLAs undergraduate. Nilesh Kabral, Deepak Dolikar with highest liabilities. ADR declares its report. CLP criticizes Parikar on statement made on Supreme Court order. Congress says this statement would worsen the scenario. Ask CM to quit if 35,000 crores recovery from illegal mining is not possible. Randeer Kapoor inaugurates South Asian Film Festival at Kalai Academy. South celebrates 100 years of Indian cinema, four-day festival in Goa. High Court resolves order on the petition challenging Goa government's decision not to accept the list of shortlisted candidates by GPSE. Parikar government had rejected nine candidates selected by the commission. And MHU Archery Association makes its way into Kankon. Secretary Chetan Kaulekar invites rural talents to take up archery. Now the news in detail. The Goa Legislative Assembly presently has 37 out of 40 MLAs who are Kroorpatis. This is the outcome of the study done by the Association for Democratic Reforms and National Election Watch. The study done just before the election has also highlighted Nilesh Kabral of having highest liabilities followed by Sudin Tavlikar. 75% of Goan MLAs are undergraduates. The booklet of all these details was launched on Thursday. 22 MLAs out of 40 are Karodpatis and hence it was 55 percent. Today you have 37 out of 40 MLAs as Karodpatis. 37 out of 40. The National Election Watch and the Association for Democratic Reforms had conducted a study of the candidates of the 2012 Assembly election of Goa. The study has revealed that BJP MLA Nilesh Kabral has highest liabilities. Nilesh Kabral has 13 crore plus assets and 9.10 crore worth liabilities. The study also mentions about candidates who have lost even after having highest number of both movable and immovable assets. MGP candidate Dinar Tarkar, Independent Jawahar Dias, Nirmala Savant are three toppers of this list. Amazingly, all the 10 high asset listed candidates have lost the election. This also cements the fact that the people have not fallen prey to money and voted justly. Reporter Pratik Parab with video journalist Devendra Gankar for Prudent. Congress Legislative Party has strongly criticized the statement made by CM Parikar on Supreme Court's order on mining. CM had said that courts should leave such matters to the government. Spokesperson of the CLP, Alex Regional Lawrence, said this statement would worsen the mining scenario. Congress demanded thorough investigation into illegal mining scam through central agencies like CBI, Income Tax and Enforcement Directorate. CLP also challenged Parikar to either recover 35,000 crores or quit. The Congress party condemns the outburst of the Chief Minister, Mr. Manohar Parikar, against the Supreme Court on yesterday. The Chief Minister should learn to have faith in the judiciary and he appears to be working as an employee and agent of the mining company and he's, and he's, and he's been tutored to make such statements. The Congress party fully sympathizes and supports the truck, the workers, the truckers, the laborers dependent on the mining industry. An appeal for early relief from the Supreme Court in the interest of the people. Mr. Manohar Banigar, by his contradictory statements and wrong decisions and his constant U-turns and his art of condemning the decision of the Supreme Court will further create complications for the state of Goa. When there is already a CEC in place, appointment of Justice Kandepargar Committee to selectively analyze the report is another act of fooling the people of Goa. The Congress Legislative Party demands that there should be a thorough Supreme Court probe Using agencies like Enforcement Directorate, Income Tax, CBI, 
and uh, only to and not only to investigate the politicians but also the mining companies which are involved in the large scale uh, recovery of 35000 crores mr parigar if you can't uh, if you cannot do it then it's high time you should quit confusion in goa and uncertainty in goa today is the is only because of one man mr manohar parigar who has let down the people on all issues mentioned in his manifesto before coming to power one illegal mining casinos to be shifted out of mandavi river scrapping of the regional plan medium of instructions bjp government has failed even to control the price making the life of common man very difficult also the price of electricity and water the bjp government has made his life added to the woes of common man The South Asian Film Festival was inaugurated at Kala Academy on Thursday. This year's theme is Dissolving Boundaries. SAF is also celebrating the remarkable journey of 100 glorious years of Indian cinema. The four-day long festival is one of rare festival where all the South Asian countries filmmakers join in the celebrating the spirit of South Asian cinema. Screening will take place at ESE 1 and 2 from Friday. The inaugural was done by actor Randeer Kapoor. MP Tarik Tarik Anwar was also present for the function. Film fraternity paid homage to late Yash Chopra. Rohit Wadkar reports. साउथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल उक्तावण सुवाड़ो आता जो हा उक्तावण सुवाड़ा कपूर खानदान के रणबीर कपूर तक उलया पे साउथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवला बदल रणबीर जी कैसा लग रहा है गोवा में आके फॉर साउथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल मैं पहले भी आ चुका हूँ इस साउथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल पर और मैं हमेशा चाहता हूँ कि मैं इनक्रेज करूँ ऐसे फेस्टिवल्स जहाँ हमारी जहाँ हमारे पड़ोसी मुल्क की फिल्में आती हैं जैसे इमोशन जज्बात किसी भी जुबान में हो एक स्माइल हो या आंसू हो या हंसी हो उसकी कोई जमान नहीं होती है अब वो फिल्म नेपाली हो या पाकिस्तानी हो या भूतानी हो अफगानिस्तानी हो इमोशन इज यूनिवर्सल ये हमको एक इंसाइट देता है एक नज़रिया देता है उनके कल्चर के बारे उस देश के कल्चर के बारे में उनके ट्रेडिशन्स के बारे में and shows that we are all one and we are all alike mujhe ye ye ye, ye uh, south east asian uh, festival bahut pasand aata hai and uh, ye ye hamare ko hum logon ko nazdeeki aane mein ehsaniyat phailata hai it felicitates our growing closer to each other understanding each other and creating love and happiness all around cameraman tulsidas sari wangda khabra ka rohit wadkar for prudent media It's time for a short break stay tuned